Certificate for your saga. You can't condemn me so uh, punish me so and turn blind eye to Tinubu or says. Mm. This is actually a very serious one. You can't condemn and punish me so and turn blind eye on Tinubu because they are the same offense. Now, Ms. Oma has been suspended by wife for the next three years for forging her resort. Me, I uh, jam already. And now, uh, that is jam, not work, okay? But now, jam, jam itself is also, I think jam, jam did the same thing, okay? So, but Tinubu has just forged his own from primary school to university. And you want us to turn blind eye because he's president. Is the law meant for small people alone? No. There's no way Tinubu will have peace with all these things. That is the truth. A chieftain of the Labour Party, Kenneth Okonkwo, on Friday maintained that the same treatment method on Ms. Oma, who tampered with her UTME result to emerge with the highest score, should be given uh, to Bola Tinubu as well. Nigerian News reports that Caleb Westberg, the university registrar and deponent witness of Chicago State University during the position on Tuesday said he does not have the certificate to presented to Independent National Electoral Commission prior to 2023 general election. He further stressed that Tinubu did not apply for a replacement certificate nor was he ever issued one. So not was he ever issued one, meaning they didn't even give him certificate. So people that said he went to school, that he graduated, they didn't even issue him certificate. That is another bad part of it. So Westberg's statements have stirred reactions across the board, with many accusing President Tinubu of alleged identity theft and forgery of his credentials. Reacting to the certificate forgery saga, Kenneth Okonkwo, during an interview with Arise TV, said that the populace cannot condemn and punish young Mesoma. Recall that Jamb had slammed a three-year ban on Ms. Oma to serve as a deterrent to others after investigating her and finding her guilty of forgery. Finding her guilty of forgery. So speaking, Okonkwa said that those who ascribe the controversy surrounding Tinubu's credentials after CSU's uh, disownership as trivia have sold their soul and conscience to the devil. He said, you can't condemn and punish Ejikeme Ms. Oma who did pass her jam, but inflated the scores, and then turned a blind eye to Bola Tinubu, who forged Chicago State University certificate. It is actually not a good one. Okay? It's not a good one at all. So, and that is how it's supposed to be. The question is not just Mesoma. Mesoma is just one of the cases. Okay? I think the case of, uh, of uh, a, a, a former deputy governorship aspirant of Bayesa State who forged the certificate the 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 the, uh, the Supreme Court sacked him the next day while they were trying to do the hazard in preparation for inauguration and swearing in ceremony the news came that they have been sacked because the ticket bind was binding both the governor and the uh, deputy governor together so because the deputy governor was found to be involved in a forgery case it affected the governor and the their ticket was cancelled and then they lost the seat so it didn't start from today it didn't start from today so have a lot of records where political aspirants and political office holders were sacked after being elected because of forgery and forgery like this case is a pre-election matter and it affected them now apc people are creating narrative that even if tinubu for certificate is a pre-election matter and cannot be discussed now why and forgery is a criminal offense so it is not only to sack the person but also to prosecute the person involved sentiments will destroy nigeria i tell you the truth sentiments will destroy nigeria and that's already what is destroying nigeria so you cannot punish those people, including Mesoma, and you are turning blind eye on Tinubu, the number one citizen of Nigeria. What example is it laying to young people and to the rest of Nigerians? Example of fraud, example of criminality, example of forgery. What? We have the worst dossier in the history of Nigeria now among people that have lived in the United States. They are releasing this crime one after the other. And I tell you, before December, it's going to be so bad 
that the next thing actually if the judiciary cannot sack him the populace will sack him that is it so somebody is making a comment here saying that irreparable damages loading already there are irreparable damages already okay he has now been known as a chief certificate forger from primary school to university he is now known for fraud he is now known for narcotics he is known for now the the united states um, internal revenue service agencies have an affidavit now showing Tinubu's six federal crimes he committed in the United States. Very huge crimes. And we, even though he was not prosecuted, but they have them in their crime diary with the crime diary numbers. Can you imagine? So he has a criminal record in the United States. That is, if whether prosecuted or not prosecuted in the U.S., the criminal record has been published. And that is going to be discussed today now because that is a new breakout that we just got. Hmm. I say, which way Nigeria truth must stand? Eh? And somebody is coming here to say which truth. Eh? What is which truth? Truth remains truth and no other truth. Exactly. That is it. So the American government should be the one to judge Tinubu for trying to tarnish the image of one of their institutions. That is the one. I swear to God, if I find if I find guilty and see allowed to govern, just know that Nigeria is finished. Can to conquer again, comparing a lady who forged a jump score with a man, okay, who was adjudged of earning a degree honestly and claiming they should be treated alike. Well, if an Igbo Catholic priest can claim that Peter Obi was denied a mandate he never won, now uh, how can I expect something better from? Can you imagine? This is a tribal by God, any PC that by God, rather. I always swear that you are hundred percent sure that Tinubu won the election and he didn't forge a certificate. He cannot. If not, he will just die. And uh, somebody say you are ignorant of Tinubu certificate saga. The certificate presented to Anek isn't from the CSU. He attended university just like Ime Soma, sat for jam or forged her own jam result. That is it. It's the same thing. Eh? If Supreme Court judges like they should turn their eyes away from this hefty crime, but it will remain evergreen that Tinubu forged his certificate. And not just certific certificate too, there are many sins and crimes of Tinubu that will be compiled later. You just wait until after um, FBI have finished, uh, you know, releasing the 2,500 page document of Tinubu dossier. All the sins of Tinubu will be compiled and documented for reference. That's bad. Someone said, defending Tinubu is like indicting yourself. And if you continue defending him, you look more stupid. Even the lawyers that defend him talk as if they did not see the wall of uh, law school before. That is how bad it is. If President Tinubu is found guilty, he should be stripped off his office. That is it. Period. Not in Nigeria. He will be forgiven. That is Nigeria for you. He will be forgiven. Terrible situation. Uh, you forget that Nigeria worship rich people more than your poor people. The laws are meant for the poor. That's how bad it is, not for the rich. Can you imagine the situation we are in now? Okay, so thank you for listening and let's have your comments.